Okay, I'm here to answer the question, what is a bacon lardoon and how do you make it? Okay, this is a slab of smoked bacon, also known as a pork belly. And this is where all bacon comes from, per se, that we, we have in the marketplace. Um, it normally comes with the skin attached, and this is the skin on this side. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take the skin off, and then I'm going to talk to you about what a lardoon is, okay? First, let's take the skin off of the slab of bacon, all right? We can make a little bit of incision here along, the fruit, on, on, along either side, really, just to start the removal of the skin. And then you're going to pull it off, basically, okay? Take a towel. And it comes off nice and cleanly this way. If you peel it off with a knife, you'll end up whittling away at the actual pork belly itself. This is the kind of thing that you might want to use for a couple of things. I usually throw these in my stock pots, uh, my brown stock pots for extra flavor. But uh, of course, the Mexican people, this is their what they used to make chicharrones out of, which is fried pork skins. So here I left a little bit of skin on here. Still, we'll take that off. Okay, so there's your skin bacon slab. Now, a lardoon. Let's talk about the definition of that first, real quick, and. The word lardoon comes from the larding needle, uh, which is a tool that is used to extract fat um, from pieces of fat and, and so that it can be inserted into different foods to add fat and flavor to the cooking process. The shape that the larding needle creates with the piece of fat is called a lardoon also. So that shape, which is like a giant rectangle, really, um, looks like this when you cut it from a slab of bacon. Like that, like a little box car. That would be a lardoon. Now, a whole lardoon, if you will, would be the long, giant, long piece of fat that's extruded from the larding needle. Now, why would anybody cut lardoons? versus using pre-sliced bacon. Mainly because pre-sliced bacon is a little bit too thin to end up being part of the food that is in a dish that contains smoked bacon. So if you want the smoked bacon to be part of the food and not disappear and melt into the dish and be unrecognizable, although the flavor might still be there, you cut it like this here so that you have pieces of bacon in there. And that is what a lardoon is and what a lardoon looks like. It's cut from a slab of bacon or a pork belly. This is a great piece of cooking food that uh, I probably have a tendency to overuse. But uh, anyway, that would be a lardoon. 